Hi guys, welcome back to Game Muscle Videos. We're going to jump into some Dirt Rally with the HTC Vive. We've got a Star Trek Phaser, which is a vital part of rally driving. In modern rally driving, you need to be able to shoot the spectators to get them out of your way. Um, we're ready to go. I've not actually driven this Monte Carlo track in VR yet, so this should be interesting. Hopefully there's not too much snow and hopefully we can keep the car on the road. Now we have gone for the Subaru Impreza 2001 because it's a nice balance be between being an absolutely mental rally car but not being s insane, totally insane like the modern rally cars. Now what we're going to do is put the brake bias to the rear a bit so on the brakes uh, the, the back end pops out. That's what we like, that's fine, that'll do. Uh, normally set the rear diff up as well but we're not going to bother with that we're just going to go with the flow and hope if we get the car out on the um on the brakes and just rely on that now we're of course in the somatic k2 cockpit the rig that we're in floating in the bottom corner of the screen we've got the shh shifter here and we're using the clusport v2 pedals and um the shh shifter is in sequential mode and we're using that as a handbrake which is nice and handy and we're probably going to be using it a lot for this stage. The crowd not moving. <laughs> Here we go. Start this stage. Appears to be slush. Could have done with some of this to put in my drinks today. Because it's been a bit bloody warm in the UK. Tastes nice and easy. Hopefully we can just nicely flow around these corners. Throw the car in a little bit. Okay, maybe, maybe that was thrown in a bit too much. <laughs> oh, there we go. Got to be careful with the rear diff so far back that you don't bog the car into a corner and then end up sort of getting stuck and rotating all the way around. Oh, really nice. <laughs> Just glooping the car around here. Really satisfying. It's like a sort of advanced drift simulator but on a really narrow road with a cliff face oh we've made use of the uh, snow berm at the side got to be careful you don't hit it too hard otherwise you can lose your wheels oh dear a bit slow through that We're losing a lot of speed we need to carry more speed through here <laughs> I'm not so good going sideways. Yeah, we definitely probably need to uh, tighten the rear diff up a bit so that it puts the power down on the accelerator more. And then we can use that to pop the car out. <laughs> so good. 900 degrees of uh, steering rotation. Unfortunately, I've fiddled around. I can't get the in-car cockpit wheel to match up, even if I turn the hands off. But... I'm so busy concentrating on the road in front of me. Oh, we've got tarmac now. We've got to be careful. The car won't slide so much. Whoa! A lot of grip there. We almost end up with a bit of a cliff face through the front window. Oh, we need to go down again there, bogging down. Fantastic. Oh, no! It's all right. No insurance claims necessary. We have to listen to the co-driver back on the little patches of ice and they do affect how the car handles. <laughs> Woohoo! The fog as well. It's like playing the N64 game. Oh! Thank you, Mr. Railing. Oh, <laughs> snapping the steering here. T300 gives you really good force feedback in uh, Dirt Rally. Really get a good idea of what the car's doing, how it's loading up. And I highly recommend if you're going to buy any force feedback steering wheel, pick up the T300. It's the best value one you can get. Of course, you can uh, use it on the Xbox, the PlayStation 4. You do have to buy the right one. I think it's the RX for the PlayStation 4 and the TX for the Xbox 360. Uh, Xbox 360, we're a generation behind for the Xbox One. <laughs> Come on, should have used the handbrake there. Now we're coming to the downhill section, you really can. Pop the back out <laughs> on the handbrake and just catch it and throw the car around. And there we go, we finished that stage. Awesome, that was fantastic. I want to do another stage now. He's traumatised. <laughs> He's totally traumatised. 
Um, we only did, I only did one stage. I wasn't expecting it to be uh, such a short stage. We're second. We've got the AR and Elite as well, so we must have been on fire. Okay, so let's check out the uh, daily stage and give that a go at Pump Moor. In the, uh, it's the owner's club. We'll see how well this goes. <laughs> we are ready. We're sweating in our HMD because it's possibly one of the hottest days that we've had in the UK. Um, so it makes perfect sense to put a screen right on your face and uh, then play active games. But sometimes you've just got to take the punishment to enjoy the gameplay. Start the stage, we're ready to go. We put the brake bars to the back again. It's a night stage, so this should be nice and fancy. Um, move back a bit. We're a little bit off centre, but we're all right. Okay, so handbrake on. Let's get ready. Four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Car looks fantastic. Little dash all lit up. Using the brake bias again to get the car into the corner. Cheating a bit. Whoa! Cheating a bit with the shifter here. Should really be using... Oh, bugger. <laughs> We've beached the car. Reposition the car, recover vehicle. Should really be using the manual shifter. But we've got the uh, shifter set up as the handbrake. It's actually really good fun playing Dirt Rally using a manual shifter, though. I wasn't paying attention when I selected this rally. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, this car's really nice. Though. It's quite heavy, so it won't slide around, but it's also got the power, so you get a nice contrast between the modern rally cars and uh, this. <laughs> Fantastic how the headlights are sort of lighting up the forest. It's not really night time, it's sort of foggy evening. So we can see quite clearly even, even if we didn't have the headlights. Oh, <laughs> that's so nice. Love how the vehicles handle on this sort of mud, gravelly dirt stuff. Oh, this is amazing. Whoa. Oh, no. There's a tree. Thanks for stopping us. <laughs> We're driving so bad. Need to get back uh, back into these old cars, give them a bit of practice. Should have done a recce first. We've still got four wheels. As long as you've got four wheels, you're good. You'll notice as well, we have fiddled the graphics settings a bit and uh, got it looking fairly decent now with uh, the Vive and still hitting the, the frame rate that's required. And so that's on my GTX 970 with a, we do have a, the, the sort of late i7 6700K, but it's, you know, pretty fantastic. Got it running completely smooth and it looks as good as you probably want to. Whoa, oh, come on, stick. <laughs> I love this part of the track. Oh, it's so good in VR. You're just flowing all over the track with a little ditch down there. Don't want to go for a swim. Thank you. Oh, the uh, rear brake bars are coming in perfectly on the brakes, just sliding the car around. So the inside of the car just misses the dirt. Oh, we've, I've looked the wrong way there. I saw the little... If, when you've got handbrake turns, you see these little markers, the little triangles. They point to where the turn is, but I looked at it wrong it's such a tight turn the marker looked like it was pointing the other way track trickery <laughs> to be quite committed with uh, these this older car because like i say it tends to slide a bit more than the recent than the more modern cars than the 2010 cars well a lot more it's got a lot more weight behind it which certainly feels as if it does Oh, we need to slow it up a lot sooner than that. I love this car when you chuck it in, though. Really satisfying force feedback as you slide around the corners. Oh, that's one way to finish. Whoops. They don't even, the crowd don't even care. We've just destroyed the finish line. Well, that's good. It should stop the other competitors from being able to tell where the finish is and they'll just drive off the cliffside. <laughs> that's the Daily Dirt Rally. The Daily Dirt... The Dirt Daily Rally? Oh, I don't know what it's called. That's the multiplayer event. 
every day you, you get uh, new events in Dirt Rally that you can pick up and do and they see where you compare to other people and you get credits based on how well you do uh, relative to other people's times. But uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, well, for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it a day. We're going to check out Rallycross next. Uh, but we've got the settings all working really well now, so we should be able to just jump in and play. So we're going to be doing more daily rally events and the multiplayer events, see where we come in them each day. But absolutely fantastic. Really good fun playing again. Uh, I'll see you in our next video. We do probably a, a, a normal VR game with hand controllers. Until then, goodbye.